another problem for vectors. So we have uh, three vectors, basically yes, three vectors A, B, C. A and B given as shown in this figure, we need to find uh, C vector. But we know that summation addition of this all these three vectors equal to zero. This is what we know. So according to these informations, we need to find C vector. In, uh, into we need to write it in terms of components. So first of all, uh, this is a just simple mass algebraic equation. So from here, it's obvious that C equal to minus A minus B. Or you can write also in this way, yes? A plus B. That's all. So it means actually C vector is equal to addition of A and B. Just we need to change its direction because negative. So first of all, let's find what is the A plus B. A vector given 4 meters, direction is given 60 degree uh, above the horizontal x-axis and the B vector 3 meter. Uh, 20 degree below the x direction so first of all uh, let's try to solve it in terms of component method and we need to find first ax this is the x component for a and this will be y component for a simple right triangle we have uh, so ax equal to a times cosine 60 basically 4 times cosine 60 which will give us uh, 2 I think yes 2 meters exactly 2 meters y vector a times sine 60 4 times sine 60 which is 4 times square root 3 over 2 so it's 2 square root 3 this is a x and the y component for first vector for a vector both positive because of the direction is as it given in this figure now let's come to the b vector second vector this will be x component positive bx and this will be y component which is negative because of direction going downward 90 degree simple mass bx equal to b times cosine 20 so which is uh, 3 times cosine 20 and it will be equal to approximately 3 times cosine 20 uh, 2.81 82 approximately 82 y component will be negative because of direction downward so uh, b times sine 20 minus 3 times sine 20 and the by will be equal to minus negative number 102 so as you see we have a y component and x component for both vectors so let me write this a y in this way so approximately it will be 3.46 now it's time to finish this question we know that c vector equal to minus a plus b vector we can write it in this way so c x vector for c equal to minus ax plus bx simple uh, what is the ax 2 what is the bx 2.82 so x component for c will be equal to negative 4.82 meters same for y component negative ay plus by basically ay is 3.46 positive plus by is negative the answer will be final 346 minus 102 uh, negative 2.44 so uh, this will be x component this will be y component you can write it in terms of unit vector so unit vector for c will be 
negative 4.82 i minus 2.44 j. This will be same vector in terms of unit vector.